lifting their voices and prayers for Ukraine. Newman Hall, Holy Spirit Parish in Berkeley showing its support. Father Ivan Tao is the pastor. I think we're all brothers and sisters under God and, and, and this is just a horrible situation. I think we all have, are all called to support each other. Support in prayer. Prayer for those still in Ukraine, those who fled and those whose lives have been lost. More than 350 civilians taken by this war so far. Tonight is a moment of grieving, of togetherness, of meditation, of prayer. The choir, all alumni of UC Berkeley, brought together by Marika Kuzma. The Ukrainian American wants their director. I just, I sent a huge group email. I said, who is available? Who can come and rehearse? And yeah, big hearts, these people, big hearts. She has family in Ukraine and keeps in close contact, checking in daily. It's heartbreaking. I think mainly what I sense from them is that they so want to feel contact with the outside world because they feel very isolated now. Parishioners here putting up their prayers and also raising some funds, adding to their collection for Ukraine. This Ash Wednesday, the numbers were up. Um, our churches were packed. Our, our masses were packed and we, we collected over $3,000, which is pretty phenomenal. This coming together, providing some peace in a time of turmoil. There's a certain amount of helplessness that we feel. And so by offering our prayers, hopefully we can change the evil of war that's there now. I just think that having a service together allows us to experience the range of emotions that we're all feeling but we don't know what to do. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Left to Give pray, and Marika says, prayer. keep it coming. What moves me is that Ukrainians so believe in the power of prayer. Every single email I get from them is pray for us, pray for us. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.